Hi and welcome to a special FTV report into the unexplained death of father of two Sean James. Sean was drinking here at the Upper Bilson Inn on December the 15th 2002. He left the pub at about 6.40pm and started walking down Valley Road towards his home off Hastings Road in Fairfields. Fifteen minutes later he was dead. It was here in Sawmills Lane steam mills that Sean was found dying. Five years later, no one has been brought to justice for this crime. The police have said that the injuries they found on Sean may not have all been caused by being hit by a vehicle. In fact, he may have already been lying on the ground when he was hit by a car. When he left the Upper Bilson, he should have walked half a mile in the opposite direction to where we are now, to his home in Fairfields Road. Yet he ended up half a mile in the opposite direction here in Sawmills Lane. Police have said he could not have possibly walked here in the 15 minutes between when he left the pub and when he was found here dead. Today we were going to talk to a few people who knew and loved Sean and who will not let his memory die and who want to see justice done. The scariest thing really is thinking that it might be someone local. When I say local in the in, in Cinderford or the neighbouring towns or villages that they're still here and they've got away with it once and maybe they think it might be easy to get away with it again. I think it's very difficult to believe for us that someone in our community, a small community that knows everybody, could know something and not say anything. Nobody deserves that sort of treatment if they fell out with someone. I mean, the people here in, in Cinderford knew Sean, and if they had an argument with Sean or uh, something, they, they'd sort it out. They'd go outside and they'd sort it out. And they'd buy each other a pint and leave it. You know, that's the way it was. And that's the way... Sean was. The whole family on all sides, Lisa's family, my family and Sean's family. I mean, it's just something that's constantly there and obviously at Christmas he's missed most by the kids. I mean, it happened just before Christmas and approaching my son's 13th birthday and it's something I know that uh, will haunt him forever. You, you start to think, well, whatever we do, it's not going to make a difference because they've got no conscience. When there's another side of you that thinks, well, we're doing it for Sean. We're doing it for the kids because we don't want them to feel like we feel when they're adults. Whoever killed him, like, probably got children or whatever in a family, and they're all happy, and there's me and they that are just left on our own, you know? And that makes me so angry. It's like a big kid, really. Always out for a laugh, real good dad. Just a very nice person. Everyone that knew him really liked him. He used to work seven days a week. Yeah, he used to go out for a drink Friday and Saturday nights. But he never used to cause trouble or nothing. It doesn't get any easier, especially this time, time of year and that. And Layla's always crying for her dad, all the time. It's rarely affected her, rarely affected her. Um, she's just always going on about her dad. Why can't my dad, even though she's getting older, she still thinks that her dad might come back. She can't get into her head that it's gone and he's not coming back. She just says things like, if I could have a wish, I wish my dad would come back. It'd be better, though, if Layla, if I could tell Layla who killed her dad. So he's locked up, he's in prison, you know? But I can't tell her because I don't know. But I reckon that it was murder. Because if he was on his way home, someone must have picked him up in a matter of minutes. Because last seen at, I think it was seven minutes to, and the ambulance was called at four minutes past seven. You know, so it must have been planned. And he wouldn't get into a car, um, someone's car that he didn't know then. So I reckon that someone said, do you want a lift, Sean? We'll give you a lift home. He got in there and it was all planned. We still think that justice is going to be done. We're never going to give up on... Sean used to work as a builder for KW Bell based in Cinderford. His employer, Keith Bell, unveiled a memorial bench to him this week. Uh, I, I've, got a, I've got a pub as well, at the, the Balfrey Little Dean. He was actually in there at lunchtime having some lunch. And, uh, and from then on he went on and, uh, and, that, and that was when it happened. And it, it was very sad and it upset his friends uh, a lot. Well, and all of us really, you know. Well, I, I knew, I knew, I've known him all my life really. Um, he, uh, I knew his father, I knew his grandfather. And uh, I think he started to work for us uh, quite at an early age. He was pretty well known, and uh, I don't think he'd done everything uh, that he should do, but he's like a lot more, uh, and uh, he, he had a very good, a good way about him as well. And he, he was never lazy, he was, a, he was a great worker, you know. Albeit the investigation is five years on, the investigation isn't closed. I do believe there's somebody out there who knows something. Not just the person or persons who may be responsible, but there may be a girlfriend, a sister, a mother, um, just somebody who on that evening, somebody came home 
Um, they may have said something, they may have noticed a vehicle that was damaged, they may have been in the area where the incident happened. It may not have meant something to the person at the time, but five years on now, we still have not got to the bottom of how Sean James died. And I'm absolutely convinced that there is somebody out there who can assist the police and can assist the family and help them get closure on this incident and find out what happened to Sean James. One of the hypotheses is that he was hit by a vehicle. Um, I don't want to restrict um, anybody phoning in with any information by giving further details, but what I will ask is if anybody has got any information at all about um, Sean James um, that evening in 2002 when he died, then please contact the police and let us investigate, let us find out whether it is relevant or not. So as the people of Cinderford prepare to celebrate Christmas with their families, it's important we don't forget the family and friends of Sean James, who will not be at peace until they find out what happened to him. They won't be able to celebrate another Christmas until justice has been done, so if you have any information, please come forward. Thanks for watching.